everyone, welcome back to the Honey series. So today I'm here with the hair video. This isn't a tutorial, it's just a talk, talky type of video about why I cut my hair and how I'm maintaining it and all of that good stuff. So if you're interested or if you're just curious, then keep watching. Okay, so I am, well I can be a very indecisive person and I was going back and forth for about, say four months if I should cut my hair or not and I was just like, oh, if I cut it, I won't be able to have my bun and, well, that was basically the main hairstyle that I was doing whenever I had my hair out. And I was just like, oh, but if I cut it, like, you know, it, I'll get rid of all, like, the dead ends and it'll be a new look and all of that stuff. So it, it wasn't just something that I woke up one day and I was like, I'm going to cut my hair today. No, it took me a long time to decide. You know, it wasn't like my hair was the healthiest. Like, I had length, sure, but I didn't have much body. So, one day I just woke up and I was like, I'm going to go to the store today and get some relaxer and perm my hair so I can cut it. I permed it on a Saturday and on Monday I went to the salon. So, yeah, like, she, as soon as I sat in the chair, she was just like pushing my hair backwards and she's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and the next minute, like, my hair was literally still in uh, the little bun. So she just unraveled it and she just went, and I was like, and then she flung it on the floor and I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> so then I had to wash. She was like, yes, yeah, so it's easier to wash. There's less hair to wash. So anyways, so I washed my hair and all that good stuff. But she cut it really nice. Um, the only thing I would say is the hairstyle, the cut wasn't the problem. It was the hairstyle. Like, I kind of wanted um, finger wave. She didn't really understand why. So I showed her pictures and everything. She didn't get it. So she just curled it. But I wasn't really in it for the style because obviously I wasn't going anywhere. I just, I was in it for, mainly for the cut. So, you know, she cut my hair well, definitely. In terms of like growing it out, like, you know, past having a pixie cut or having like a really short hairstyle, I don't think I want to be longer anymore. Like, I think I'm going to stay like this for as long as I can. Like, I just enjoy having short hair. It is a bit harder to maintain though. I thought it would be easier, but because it's short, you know, you have to get into like all the... Especially when you're styling it, like if it's a bun, you can just like swipe everything up, swipe. You can just like pull everything up and that's it. But because it's short hair, you have to make sure you get bits and bobs. I have to be like really like extra when, you know, I'm trying to like maintain this short hairstyle because it can get, it can look a bit messy. There's some times I've had some lazy moments and I was like, no, I can't, I can't do it this way because... I need, to, I need to do that. Oh. So I don't use that much, but I'm gonna go through what I do. All right, so to wash my hair, I, first of all, this bottle is always in my shower, so it has a bit of water marks on it, but who cares. This bottle is what I use. I use Tresemme, Tresemme and if this is gonna zoom in, yeah, this is the shampoo. And I always use the conditioner as well. This is the breakage defense one. But obviously my condition is finished, so, and I've already chucked away the bottle, and I was using a, like a temporary conditioner, um, I think it's Motions, let me grab it one sec. Alright, so this is my temporary conditioner, um, yeah, it's by Motions, and yeah, this one is really good too. But the reason why I'm using this is because the last time I went out to buy like hair stuff, I didn't find the Tresemme one. I feel like every conditioner does the same, like let's be honest, like, let's be honest. So, moving on to moisturizer. This is a thick formula, like it's kind of like, it has like the sheer butter consistency, but it's not heavy. I used to use just virgin coconut oil in my hair, but my hair, is, my hair texture is very, like my hair is very dry, like I have very dry scalp, like we're riding on the borderline of dandruff. So coconut oil doesn't really, it doesn't, it doesn't moisturize my hair. Yeah, it makes it shiny, but it doesn't really moisturize my hair. So I needed something that, that was a bit thicker, so I went for this. Anyway, so I use that and I also use organic, unrefined, natural African shea butter. Now this stinks, <laughs> like it stinks, like that one smells amazing, but this stinks, like this is authentic shea butter and it stinks. It doesn't smell like dustbin or anything, it just has like an unusual smell. I don't know why, but you know, so I use this a little bit obviously like on my scalp and stuff like that, you know, you can never go wrong with shea butter. So that's what I use. And obviously because I'm always straightening my hair, I use like the baby tiny straighteners. I use a form of heat protectant, which is this. It's just an antifreeze, a heat protectant. Yeah, that's it. Nothing too extra. My hair's a bit, it's a bit on the funky side today. You know, we're a bit edgy with the front. Normally I just have it swept to the side, but you know, 
sometimes you've got to try new things in it. Ooh, edge control is looking ratchet. So if you have short hair and you have any tips that you feel like would be helpful, don't hesitate to list them in the comments below. Um, if you feel like I'm doing anything wrong or if you feel like there's something I should be doing, let me know as well. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And until my next video, follow me on social media. I'll leave all my links down below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!